they just concluded two-day National Assembly Capital Market Stakeholders Legislation Forum in Abuja. Key players engaged on developing a valuable ecosystem for the markets. Mrs. Shola Boha, CEO of Stambik IBTC, spoke on the state's debt servicing and the need for restructuring. I believe the options the states have now are limited, to be frank. And, you know, this is primarily due to the restrictions around, um, you know, the amount of money they can, they can borrow for good reason as well, because um, you, you, your debt servicing, et cetera, must be such that you don't impair the um, actual viability of the state. So you have the 50% um, cap or 50% of internally generated revenue, um, which is a maximum cap that the states um, can, can borrow. Um, the way forward, in my view, um, involves the states actually taking a very hard look at the way they reorganize themselves or they organize themselves. Because ultimately, your future lies with the level of your internally generated revenue. It's cash flow at the end of the day. So whether it's private sector, public sector, the amount of cash flow that you're able to generate internally will ultimately determine how much you can borrow. The focus has to be on states to operate almost like um, private corporations, you know, where they are rolling out the red carpet for both foreign direct investment and domestic investments as well. Because the decision as to where you locate your factory, your new business, is very much dependent on you know, how efficient the state is and how attractive it is. For Senator Rafiu Ibrahim, Chairman, Senate Committee on Banking, a well-positioned capital market can grow the economy of a nation. This is the market that can grow the nation economy. There's no doubt about that. It is empirical all over the world. So now that we have decided to take it up, just like uh, Mrs. Waifu said, that if we, it is imperative now, and we must be ready to do what the global market wants so that we'll be able to attract invest, investment. In his intervention, the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Oscar Onyema, harped on enabling laws in the country that will attract investments. We need uh, to change a few things with regards to our laws, from the PIB bills to bankruptcy laws to um, uh, tax uh, laws. To uh, All of these really designed to make uh, the ease of doing business a, a lot more competitive. Uh, at 169 out of 186 uh, countries, uh, you would agree with me there is a lot of uh, opportunity for improvement. And really uh, dealing with that, taking away the impediments, the bottlenecks, will really free up opportunities for people to go into states. Now, some states are, are doing a fantastic job of trying to um, attract uh, investments, but these laws uh, at the state level continue uh, to make it unattractive for investors uh, to actually go into uh, that space. Honorable Ali Wadada, former chairman, Capital Market Committee, called for more cooperation among stakeholders in the formulation of laws for the Nigerian capital market space. As I have always said, greater percentage of the materials needed by members of the National Assembly to be able to put together and enact enabling laws are supposed to be coming from out there. If you look at the two chambers of the National Assembly, you may hardly have 10 stockbrokers or 10 chartered accountants, but you have 500 and something politicians that may not really know the requisite um, materials, so to say, to be able to put together laws that will deepen and grow this market. But unfortunately, the corporate citizens of Nigeria enjoy distancing themselves from the politicians. And I have always said, and I will re reiterate it here, that political power is the most important power 
it, because it determines all other powers. So if you leave the terrain of lawmaking only to the politicians, you may not get what you need. ISA 2007 provides for capital trade points. I really don't know what has been happening ab around and about capital trade points. This is one of the vehicles that um, we could leverage on to really integrate the informal sector, because that is where our strength is. One of the key things that make us what we are is population. And greater percentage of the population are the downtrodden. If we are not able to integrate the Gari seller in Wuse market, Alaba market, and the rest into the Nigerian capital market, we are not doing justice to what God has provided for us. Indeed, towards attaining a viable Nigerian capital market structure, what will be key will be strong collaboration from the regulators to all stakeholders. Thank you.